In this demo, we will see how we can anonymize sensitive data in different languages using Presidio and LangChain. And in the second part, we will see how we can integrate this anonymization step with other LLM tasks using chains. First, we need to install a few packages, some LangChain ones and some Presidio ones, in addition to Spacey, Faker and LangDetect. You can find this pip command in the description. So before doing anything to handle multi-language text, let's see how Presidio behaves by default when we give it text in a different language. So first, let's import Presidio Anonymizer from LangChain and let's initialize it with these fields. Let's say we want to anonymize person and email address. Now let's do a first test with an English text so his name is Michael Jackson, anonymizer.anonymize this text and we get his name is Anthony Gray. As we can see, it has detected the person name and changed it to Anthony Gray. Now let's try with a French text, son nom est Marie Curie. If we anonymize it, we get Catherine Paul Marie Curie, which is not the right anonymization. It's because by default Presidio Anonymizer uses a model trained on English text, so it doesn't handle other languages very well. If we want to anonymize text from other languages, we need to add other models to the anonymizer configuration. To do that, we create this dictionary that basically says when the language is English, use this English model and when the language is French, use this French model. You can add other models if you have other languages. I will put the link where you can find all the models in the description below. Then we create a new instance of Presidio Anonymizer and we put this configuration in the parameter languages config. Now let's try again to anonymize the French text and as we can see it detected the person name correctly and changed it to Christopher Ford. Alright, now let's say we don't want to pass the language of the input text directly. We want to pass only the text and it should detect the language and do the anonymization correctly. For this we can use LangDetect which is a language detection library. First, we create this function detect language. It takes as input a text and returns a dictionary with the text and the language. Then we create a chain with two steps. Step one to detect the language using the function we just defined and step two to anonymize the text given the language that was found. Let's call this chain chain1 and if we do chain1.invoke and we pass the French text we can see that it detected the language and it anonymized the text correctly. So now we have just created a chain of two steps, language detection and anonymization. So this is very nice and useful and we can actually integrate it with other language tasks. So let's say, for example, we have some emails that we want to analyze. We want to give them to GPT and it should tell us whether the email is urgent. And before passing the email to GPT, we want to anonymize the sensitive information, of course. So first of all, we need to load the OpenAI token in order to call the GPT model. Next, we do some imports and we initialize our model. I'm using this GPT 3.5 Turbo. By the way, I'm not going into the details here because I just want to show you how to integrate GPT with Presidio. Let me know if you want a detailed tutorial about GPT or LangChain or OpenAI APIs. Alright, now after initializing the model, we write our prompt template. It says analyze this email and classify it as urgent or not urgent. Here is the email and we pass our email. The output should be urgent or not urgent without any additional text. 
and we use it to create the prompt and then we create another chain which will be an LLM chain that takes the model and the prompt. Alright, so now we just created an LLM chain that takes an email and classifies it as urgent or not. Let's test it with this example email. So I just wrote an example email that says Hello, my name is Michael Jackson. My email is my credit card was stolen. Please get back to me as soon as possible. And if we do chain 2invoke and print the results, we get urgent. So the email has been classified correctly. Now let's combine chain 1 for the anonymization and chain 2 for the email classification. And let's call it chain and let's test it with the previous email as we can see at some point it has detected the language and performed the anonymization and it gave us this result if we do chain dot steps we can see the details of the steps of this chain now let's try it with the French email and here we have our results it prints the language because we added a print in the LangDetect function. We can remove it if we want to get just the final result. 